Hello everybody, this is Rhythm Oliver, welcome back, we're about to get straight to it, this is going to be a channel message, let's see what comes out. Whenever you kiss me, you take all the breath from my body and lungs. I'm hearing like this person feels like when you kiss them, like especially like one of those deep intimate long kisses, it's like, <sighs> fly me to the moon. Dear heavens, dear creator, like this person closes their eyes, it's like sparks, they might lose their damn mind, they're like, oh my god, like, they literally feel like all the lung, all the air is leaving their lungs the way that you kiss them, they might have never had anybody even kiss them like that, they don't even understand, you guys are like, what the f goes on, like, what, what, like, oh my god, I gotta pull away from you, like, who, you, you giving me flashbacks from our past lives, maybe if you guys, you guys could be past life lovers. You know, you guys could be soulmates. Um, let's get the next card. Healing family issues. So, you know what? I'm gonna pull another one. What I'm hearing, you know what? Let's just go. So, as far as healing family issues, you could need to heal. Childhood trauma, teenage trauma, um, adult trauma from your youth, your younger, like, adult youth. Um, you could still be dealing with trauma right now. But what I'm hearing is this family trauma involves your parents. You need to heal. It doesn't have to be your parents. It could be a brother, sister, aunt, uncle, grandfather, grandma, uh, father. Godmother, um, it could be someone close to the family, a friend. Um, I feel like it has to, it, it's going to be a caregiver or someone that you are close to. Because on there it says, your love life benefits, let me look and make sure. Okay, your love life benefits as, as you forgive your parents. I had to look over there for a second. I need need to go get some damn glasses. I ain't trying to read y'all the wrong thing. So, one thing that you have to do is you need to release this energy, this negativity, and this negative energy that has been weighing you down because it's weighing you down. You need to release that. You need to let go. It's time for you to heal. In order for you to move forward, and feel and become your greatest self, you have to let go of the past. Some of you are carrying a lot of burdens. Some of you have the world, the weight of the world on your shoulders. I'm hearing some of you have tucked so much of that shit away underneath the rug and threw it in a grave somewhere and steady just throwing dirt on it, just steady throwing dirt on it, you're just steady, just throwing, throwing, throwing dirt on it, and the thing is, it's all piled up, and some of y'all don't even realize it, you're just like, okay, cool, but it's about to catch up with you, and it's gonna haunt you, that was a message for somebody, that's not for everybody, make the effort, great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take, so back, to this individual right here. This person, and I don't care what the so-called experts say or the left side says or the right sides or the middle. Everybody wants to be a fucking expert. At the end of the day, I'm gonna tell you, even me coaching people, um, not just coaching, hell, I can't even think of what the hell it's called. Um, me being me being a coach, me being Basically, of consulting and doing so, consulting in so many different areas and helping people out um, on a day to day and stuff like that. All of us have different views and different ways about something. It's just like, hey, as great as Tony Robbins is, not everybody is going to be able to go to Tony Robbins. As great as he is, there'll be 100 million people might go to him. But there might be that one person that'd be like, yeah, that doesn't work for me. And that's that's how it is with everybody. Um, Kevin Samuels. Um, 
I didn't run into him and learn who he was until a couple of years ago. And then I kind of started paying attention to what he was saying. It's like, oh, shit, like, he actually makes sense on a lot of shit that he's saying. And people didn't like that. Uh, people hate when somebody's different, when somebody's blunt. Um, nor That's nor here nor there. But what I'm saying to you is you are. Your relationship is the difference maker. And who you go to for help when you need help is a difference maker. Not everybody is for you. Just like me reading in my gifts and me being clairvoyant, me being a clear audience, like clear audience, clear sense, like so many different things. I have gifts that people don't even know about. I have, I'm a day walker. I have visions in the daytime, actually literally can have them in the damn daytime. And it's crazy the things that I can see and I can feel. Um, and when I was a child, honestly, I was a young, young child. I asked, I'm like, hey, creator, like, I need you to take this from me. I was like four years old. And I remember this to this day. And I just thought about this this morning. Like, I asked. I was doing a reading called Our Marriage. And I asked, or even before that, I was like, hey, you know, creator, like, the sh that I was able to see and feel at the time was insane. I could feel the presence of the people around who were basically from, you know, have already passed on and stuff like that. Now, my mother, my birth mother tried a lot of me. And she was born with a damn veil over her damn face, but from, from what I was told by people. Um, but she tried a lot of me and told me I didn't have gifts for many years. But my intuition was always correct when it says don't do something, don't do this, don't deal with that person. Even when I asked for it, it's like my gifts basically just got covered for many years. And then... I basically came back to it. It basically, it was always there to guide me and to help me. But then it was like people, I would start running into people and people would start telling me things. Or I would have vision. I would always have like visions and like interpretations and stuff like that. But I'm just like, what the hell? It's kind of like my aunt, like my spiritual guides and my universal ancestors were kind of protecting me and keeping me safe and 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 hiding me from something that I wasn't ready for in the world and then around pandemic time I was actually honestly supposed to start this channel I'm telling you guys this for a reason because maybe you two were actually meant to start something together Maybe you guys are meant to start a business, a project, a life together, a union. Maybe you guys are already in union, already married. Maybe you're not married and you're looking for that person. It could go either way. It could go many different ways. But I'm telling you this because I feel like somebody needed to hear that. Around like 2020, around that time, yeah, I was supposed to start this channel, honestly. And I was helping people, um, stuff like that. And it's crazy. The clients, especially during the pandemic, so many people were losing their businesses, their lives, their companies. The people I dealt with. You you got to deal with so many different walks of life and so many different people. But being able to help people out, OMG, it's a, that's the real blessing. I remember even helping somebody out who asked could they speak to me late one night. And I'm like, yeah, uh, I'm fine. I'm like, yeah, I can have emergency, you know, uh, emergency um, meeting or whatever. And deal with a client. And it was like, it was after I got off of a live. I don't know, I forgot what the live was. But this person actually had a pew pew. 
you know what I'm saying, by them. And the conversation I was able to have with that person that night and get them on the right path. And they told me, they was like, if it wasn't for you, I would have, I, I literally had my gun by me. I've, I've been in, look, I'm not, I'm not a professional when it comes down to those things. But sometimes the greatest people who can help, and I'm not saying, oh, well, if you feel suicidal, hit me up and I can help you out. That's not what I'm saying. Like, go seek help from an actual professional. Um, but I have been able to help many throughout the years in different ways. And um, that's just emotion. So, yeah. A new opportunity is coming out of coming from this union, coming from uh, this lover. And this is crazy because as I'm talking about all this, you might be somebody who has went through a hell of 